this particular Note 9 has not been used for three years. I bought this brand new around a year ago for half of its original price. I actually got back into the Note 9 not too long ago. Um, so this is running a uh, Noble ROM. So as you can see in software information, Noble 1.5 and we even have a kernel to boost those clock speeds that we do have Android 11 on this phone. So this is basically a port from the Galaxy Note 10 which does have Android 11. Uh, I don't think the Note 9 will ever get it, it officially, so this is very nice to have. So as you can see, One, One UI 3.1, security patch July 2021, we're in August now. So if you have the Galaxy Note 9 and it slowed down for you over time, then I just want to show you this ROM really quickly and show you that you can still have the latest software and have the phone running like brand new given your phone doesn't have any malfunctions like the battery like needs to be replaced something like that this phone is still very very good it doesn't feel like a 2021 flagship but it's still very very quick i'm still very um impressed with the speed because i remember i used this phone before on certain rounds and it wasn't this fast so i'm re very happy um the camera we don't get anything new with the camera except for the new One UI layout. It's still like the same quality more or less. Uh, I just wish they added like more features like 4K 60 on the front camera. Like I remember I had the N7 Edge that, that even had that feature for certain RAM. Yeah, as you can see, N975F. So that's the Note 10 Plus model number. So, I mean, it's kind of funny, but <laughs> it shouldn't really bother you. Just, now your phone thinks it's a Note 10. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> This isn't a tutorial, but there's plenty out there that are that of people who are doing a better job than me. This is just a video to show you like if you're planning on switching phones and you don't have much money, but you still have the Note 9, like the N9, like the European version, like the, the N960F that supports this RAM, then you should consider maybe like getting into rooting, like getting into custom ROMs and like making your phone feel like brand new again. Like I'm I'm someone who always likes to have the new Android versions. So as soon as I saw that the port for Android 11, I just, I just flashed it right away and it's been working perfectly fine. Also let's do a Geekbench 5 test. So this is the score I got on Geekbench 5. I don't know if that's considered good, better than average, worse than average. Not really sure, but if you know about it more than I do, then you just, you then just know this is the score. Uh, multi score 2000 this is actually not really that bad. Uh, this is the 8 gig of RAM version, maybe that's why it's doing a bit better. I don't know. Battery life, I haven't really gotten a chance to test yet, but it, it should be better. Should be. It's not always better. As you can see, we just lost uh, 1%. So, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer you. Sorry if this the video is too short or if this is not a tutorial on how to do it um just don't have time for those kinds of things anymore but yeah anyway i will see you in the next video peace